What's up, my friends? Well, this video will be about Cordyceps sinensis. This is a fine fungus. Now, this is an 800 gram chunk of Cordyceps that I ordered. It wasn't cheap. In fact, it costs more overall than some of the Kratom that I order. But the stuff is such a highly prized medicine in traditional Chinese medicine that I just had to get it. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, <laughs> a background on this. You know, I kind of wanted to do this for my herb channel. Uh, I probably will put it on my, my website, but I really wanted to get this out to more people. Especially in the uh, community of uh, my main channel, which has a lot more subscribers. And I feel like I reach more people, and there are a lot of people out there that could benefit from something like this. Um, now this right here, this, this chunk is this 800 grams. It used to be for an ounce of this stuff. This is, you know, almost two pounds. Um, an ounce of this stuff used to go for up to $900. And in China, they still have people who vend the stuff. It grows in Tibet at like 11,000 feet, and it grows off of dead caterpillars. It's a fungus that is a parasitic fungus that grows out of caterpillars, out of the ground, and they harvest it. And you know, they say a good harvester can get 20 to 40 of them a day, you know, and, and it was a very, very expensive herb for a long time. Until they isolated the proper compounds and figured out which strains had the right ratios and were able to grow it indoors. So now this stuff is harvested indoors but it has the same profile, in fact, higher of some of the compounds than some of the natural stuff, according to the charts. So I just wanted to read a quick little thing about cordyceps, to, uh, so I'm not just sitting here rambling about how great it is without some, uh, you know, paperwork. Um, it says, cordyceps was introduced to the Western world thanks to the work of Dr. Georges Halpern, a physician and professor emeritus at the University of Hong Kong. He's also written f several books on fungi. Together with other scientists, he's confirmed a number of great health benefits to be associated with what is also a parasitic organism, growing wildly on caterpillars in the high plateaus of China. 1. It can maximize the body's uptake of oxygen. And since it's found at high altitudes, I'm not surprised at all. Herbs tend to have the tendency to correlate with the needs of that area. Number two, the herb boosts the immune. Immune. I'll just read them without the numbers. Uh, the herb boosts. Herb boosts the immune system. It can have a positive effect on longevity. Sexual sexual dysfunction in men can be cured through cordyceps. That's the claim. Muscles can be strengthened by it. It can improve kidney and lung function, and it's great for the liver. Cordyceps can help in the battle against fatigue, freshening up the body in the process, but those people unfortunate enough to suffer from night sweats can also find the herb to be of benefit. And I found that interesting because I generally don't have night sweats, but I do when I sleep on my damn Tempur-Pedic because I get hot spots, but I always wondered about that. Anyway, <laughs> research published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, which involved 273 patients in nine hospitals, uh, with high cholesterol levels, revealed cordyceps sinensis helped to lower cholesterol by 10 to 21 percent and triglycerides by 9 to 26 percent. It also helped to increase good cholesterol by 27 to 30 percent. Cordyceps hit the big the news big time when, at the 1993 Chinese National Games, nine world records, including the 10,000 meters won by an astonishing 40 seconds, were broken by the Chinese team. They claimed cordyceps improved stamina and athletic performance. Uh, reduced muscle soreness and helped in muscle building. It doesn't contain any steroids, of course, so it was perfectly legal to take for them. More studies are being carried out by this wonderful substance, also to help people suffering from diabetes. And some studies have revealed cordyceps can actually help reduce the size of cancer tumors. This can have a very helpful effect in cancer treatments. Um, strengthens the kidney, reduces edema, uh, it says taking high doses of cordyceps is reputed to be quite safe, but with all things, supplements in particular, talk to your doctor, blah, blah, blah. Um, so then there's just one more little part. It was di a different, actually a different article I printed here. Uh, health benefits. Long used as a general well-being treatment in China, cordyceps is believed to increase energy and have a positive impact on the immune system. According to um, an article here, cordyceps is used to treat the following conditions. Coughs and respiratory, kidney disorders, 
male dysfunction, sexual dysfunction, anemia, liver disorders, irregular heartbeat, dizziness, and ringing in ears, or tinnitus, I guess, uh, unwanted weight loss, opium addiction, and helps treat cancer by sink sinking tumors. Now, the opium addiction one I found kind of interesting. I don't know, um, and it has anti-stress abilities. So, I don't know what really to make of it. I've been taking it, um, well, on and off for a while, and I just started taking it again. I've been putting it into my smoothies once or twice a day, and I've been only using a teaspoon. I'm going to bump that up to two teaspoons and then lower my intake of some of the other herbs. I have a, a mixture of ashwagandha, cordyceps, and macuna that I take, and I kind of alternate between herbs so I don't overdo it on any one front. So uh, I just wanted to make a little video about that and tell people about cordyceps. It's pretty interesting stuff and only recently have we been able to access something that used to be just such an expensive herb. As to whether it lives up to the hype and the claims made, time will tell. But ultimately you have to decide for yourself. So that's my thing.